What up, guys? Just getting strapped in. Let me go to my channel so when things go wrong, I can flip over there. My channel, so when. And there's my go. voice looping. All right. So I see no comments on this end, no comments on that end, that's all good. Oh man, I got a lot of stuff to go through tonight, and I don't know if we'll make it through it, oh, unless people are really bored and want to want to go through all that stuff. Hey Teresa, how are you? Oh, I tried to be festive in my dressing, but... I don't know how festive I look. Hey, Christina, resale gal. How you doing? I'm just like, I feel like Christmas threw up all over my bedroom and then some pottery came out to visit. <laughs> Good. I'm glad to hear you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good, not too bad. I just put my heater on 80 so I wouldn't be freezing up, but I'm still in a jacket and a hat, so. <laughs> hey, Leslie. Kismet Arcade. Hey, Sam. The pink Elephant Parlor. Look, Benny's at my live set. Oh my God, take a picture, screenshot. The screenshot that David Benny came to my cell. Print screen. Um. So yeah, Christmas threw up, and then some glass came and some pottery came. And whoo! So I got stuff you could use for gifts and just to decorate with. And so is everybody ready for Thanksgiving? Oh, Vinny, please. I tried to roll my eyes, but they just closed when I roll my eyes. Hey, Jonathan, how are you? Good to see ya. Lord, Lord, Lord. Look at this. Look at that flamingo behind me. Can't wait to smoke your turkey. Ah. I think we're going to have a couple cooked a couple different ways. I'm like crap on that no Thanksgiving crap because, <laughs> you know me, I've always done what I wanted. Man, I guess we can get started, but I don't even know where to start. I got so much going on. Ooh, a lot going on. We all want to start with Christo Christmas or random stuff. How many people are here? It's just now turning 8 o'clock. I guess I should talk to you for a little bit longer. Um, So, I found some other really cool resellers on YouTube. And one is the Rehomer, and she's on like 24-7. Like, she sells nonstop. So if you're ever like in between sales or bored with your life or want to check out some different type of stuff, that girl is always on. And she's, she's a good little seller, and she has fair prices and cool things. She's not much of a vintage seller I don't think but she does sell vintage occasionally and then of course there's Hemlock Lady Mercantile and she's got all the like brooches like you watched her that's cool um she has a lot of brooches she has vintage everything like you go to one of her sales and she's like what do you want to see because <laughs> she's got quite a bit of everything 
And then lately, my vice has been the gambling channels, and I watch a lot of the Detroit Scratchers, and they just do, they buy, like, books of scratch-off tickets and sit there and do them. And every time they have a winner, like, on their end of the ticket scratching, then they, like, pull a winner out of the chat. And you don't even have to, like, contribute any money to participate or anything. So you get, like, all this free entertainment and, like, you can get free money, which is nice. And they're a fun crowd. And then there is uh, Ticket Time. Ticket Time. And they're pretty entertaining. He does online gambling. I mean, gaming. And he doesn't, well, he does the scratch-offs in between. But, uh. Same deal with him, man. He he wins some. He gives you um, gives away free stuff to you. Enters you in to win free money. So that's always cool. Hey, Nanette Mendoza. I will be shipping from South Central Louisiana. Seven zero five six zero is my zip code. And I do have a scale in front of me if you need to know how much an item weighs but that's before packing it for the apocalypse because usps is like you know i don't have to explain do not have to explain man i got this panda he's like a um kitchen timer and i never heard him go off so i don't know if he works which is aggravating like why would you sell that he doesn't work Go, go to the end. Go to the end. And he's like still ticking. You put him up here. Maybe he'll go off. If he doesn't, then I'll know. I don't think he's gonna go off. I think he stopped ticking. What a shame. Okay, okay. Let's do something. Something we will do. So I have some cool ornaments and with i just skipped thanksgiving this year because thanksgiving is not what the heck did i do i brought all my supplies over there i'll be right back two seconds oh i need to turn my heater off so it's not like super annoying the whole time it's probably like 67 degrees outside and I'm dressed indoors in a, a knit hat and a jacket. Okay, so. Um, I picked this up, was it today? Yes, I think today and I hadn't had a chance to clean it yet, but it is made in Japan and it is a wall pocket. And it does have a bird. And it's got little, it looks like cherry blossoms on it. And it's crazed. It's got a lot of crazing, so it's probably, you know, relatively older. And it would make a good gift for pretty much any woman in the world because we like stuff like this. Um... And it is, let's see the height on this bad boy. Seven inches tall, and it's got the little hangy hole in the back. So you, hey, Karen, who I need to send a care package to. <laughs> and why does his face look so weird on camera? I don't know, but that's his face. I guess you could say that about, no, I'm just kidding. Um, so yeah, whatever, seven inches tall, I think I said, and this is gonna be $10, number nine for this bird wall pocket. I already lost my ink pen, but I brought it back up. $10, number nine for the wall pocket. 
And like I said, this would make a great gift for any woman, a grandmother, a teenage girl, a wife, or I guess we're all women in here. So anyway, it's a cool j Japanese piece of pottery. And I'll just put that here. Um, let's see. I have so much stuff. I have this cobalt blue glass dish. And it's got a little nesting kitty on top. And it's gorgeous. And it's a great windowsill piece. I think cobalt blue just belongs with the sunlight coming through. It's always, um cool to see and he has no chips or cracks now there are some bubbles inside of the glass which confuses me because i would think this is a um like a cast piece but it's got bubbles in them but i guess that's still possible you know anything's possible and his base sits at about four inches wide and then like the top is about five inches wide and he stands about four inches tall so it's a cute little dish like the inside's hollowed out on this end mm -hmm. thank you Teresa. and this little cat is gonna be Twelve dollars, number fourteen, cobalt blue nesting kitty, and I think that's a phenomenal price. Twelve dollars, number fourteen, especially for what I see these sell retail for in the stores. And again, this would make a great gift for any cat lover, um, glass art lover. Just anybody along those lines. Knock out your Christmas shopping now. $12, number 14. All right. So, <laughs> um, I do have snow babies, but I don't think anybody's interested in those. I've been through the snow babies before. Um, I do have this gorgeous Lefton little girl hold, holding a basket of flowers. Let me kind of do this so that the light's not ridiculously bright. And she's got pink flowers. Um, are the flowers actually not chipped? Because that would be crazy. No, I think like towards the very front, she's got some chipping on her flowers. I feel like I'm showing makeup products when I do this. I hate that I have to do this. I want a light fixture. And then the bottom's mark left in 3332. Three, three, and she's kind of got some spaghetti stuff going on around her basket there. Her wings are intact. She has absolutely no damage besides that one little place on the flower. And she's got her little halo. So if you know an August baby out there, she would make a great addition to any um, left in angel collection and that's going to be eight dollars number 11 for the left in august girl oh my god lighting can you just cooperate eight dollars number 11. hey d good to see you i can't believe all that stuff you sent me um i'm in love with it all and you made me cry like a girl. And I see I have two people that bid on number 11. So let's go see. 
I believe it is Miss Teresa Bryant, but I'm double checking because they were back to back. And my stream is like, I don't want to load. I don't want to load. Really, is that what I look like? Yes. So, Teresa Bryant, I got you for the left and girl. Let me go back to the stream. <sighs> And so, like, I'm plotting and planning. I'm, like, going to send you the ultimate. And I know that's not what it's about, gift package. But I'm, like, I know she has, whatchamacallit, precious moments, everything. And I don't want to double up on her precious moments. And then, so, I don't know. I've been watching and plotting, though, deep. Hey, Stephanie at Thrifting Adventures. Um, these two are... Cute as pie. Um, their pottery, of course, are ceramic. And they've got a brown glaze. And they're like brother and sister, so we don't separate them. And this one has a nut, and he's like, I'm not sharing. And this one's like, huh. We'll see about that. But they're cute. They're a good size. This one stands, a, let's see, four inches tall. Well, this guy stands four inches tall as well, a little bit over four inches on one of the ears. And they don't have any chips or cracks. Their heads have not been glued back on. And they have really cute faces. Turn the right way. There we go. They're just darling. And for the pair of these, I'm going to charge $10, number seven, for the pair of little squirrelies. $10, number seven. I never see squirrels as big. They're always tiny little figures. And I like how they're the old-timey brown glaze. Hey, Hemlock Lady Mercantile. I was telling everybody to subscribe to your stuff earlier because you're awesome. <laughs> All your kids are driving you nuts. How old? Yeah, they're like adolescents, right? They're not quite teenagers and not quite children. That's a hard age, Stephanie. Um. $10, number seven, for the giant, kind of giant squirrel figurines. Like, I could compare to a normal size figurine if I had one around, but I don't. So, I will put you guys in the we did not sell pile. Okay. Now, I do have a bunch of ornaments. Um, I don't know if we're going to go through all the ornaments. Now, this guy, he could be Christmas. He could not be Christmas. He could be spring. Actually, I think it's a she with short hair. And she's got luxurious lashes. Now, she has no maker's mark. And she's got a little dog that looks like it could be a Boston Terrier, like um, French Bulldog mix. Or it could just be a doll. But anyway, the dog has red eyes and a red mouth and a red nose and that's what attracted me to it because i just like the weird creatures and then they've got a little pot of flowers there and he's hunched over hugging his dog and this little figurine's gonna be five dollars number 17 for the little girl or boy and dog figurine five dollars number 17. oh my gosh lighting Maybe if I pull my chair close, and now I have to pull my stuff closer. Oh my god, hang on. I thought he was really cute, too. Like, just look at that face, and look at that dog. And the flowers actually have no damage, which is incredible. Um, and he's, you know, got that soft pale blue and purple colors, like we see a lot of things mimic. I think it's um, Yadro that does those colors. Boy and dog figure. Eight. Five dollars, number seventeen. 
<laughs> I bet you don't, D. And then your daughter's getting married. Congratulations. Um, I do have this earth tone ceramic wind chime, and it's of an owl. And he's got all his little owl people down here. Yes, I did call them owl people. Got you for 17. Uh, <laughs> well, somebody had left a comment about, I, I forget what, but I was like, let me know if you need me to beat somebody up. I got you for 17, Christine. Uh, I'll get Larry, so girl. He was like, I'm sorry if I did blah, 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 blah. And I was like, do you need me to beat somebody up? Even though I really can't. I like to um, pretend. Riso girl. Okay. Let me put him more in the picture. So, the little owls down below are, like, carved with this beautiful floral-looking scenery on their bodies. But, like, okay. The owl on the box looks like he was, like, brown drip glaze, right? And then the owl... Here looks like somebody maybe tried to touch him up with a different brown. But I don't know. I mean, he was wrapped nicely. And they were all wrapped nicely and not broken. And he fit inside the box. And I can't seem to fit him inside the box. But the, he hangs by a little loop with some wooden beads. And I would say... Um... So nine dollars number thirteen for the owl wind chime. Nine dollars number thirteen. Which unfortunately I got most of this at an expensive flea market. So all their prices well they were not too bad, but you know. See, like that's as far as I get them back into the box. But I'll get it, I'll get it done. I don't remember what number I said you were, but that's okay. Nobody put on you. Okay. Where? Okay. I'm on my backup pencil number three. Number 13. Got you, Leslie. I'm trying. Thank you, ma'am. I'll have to deliver to your house so you don't have to um, pay shipping, which is nice. I need her to come up with a name that makes fun of mid-century because I call Boho Boohoo. <laughs> hey, CJ Bailey. I actually had a quite a few sales, but don't always speak. Just leave a thumbs up for people. Figure it's the least I can do. I always see you, Wendy Melton. I always notice you there. Okay. Now, ooh, this, I think, is in 80s. Yeah, 1987. So it's actually the year I was born. And it says Snow Baby, circa 1900. So I don't know. Why they would say that Snow Baby's circa 1900 when he's from 1987. But it's kind of, you know, the white has kind of gone to yellow. And it's got the little air bubble at the top like the old snow globes do. And it's <laughs> done by Reproductions Incorporated. And for this guy, I would do like $5 number night for the Snow Baby 1900s replica. $5 number 19. Okay, cool, Hemlock. Sounds good. And yes, everybody subscribe to Hemlock. She's awesome. And I don't know. 
She makes people feel welcome. Just five dollars number nineteen for the snow baby nineteen hundreds snow globe. <laughs> Okay, you didn't have to sell a snow globe. You sold wind chime. And what else did I sell? The left finger. I don't know where I put her. That sucks. Okay, that's okay. We'll keep moving. Oh, cool. Well, hey, Mike and Krista. Yes, Hemlock is on YouTube. Her name is Hemlock Lady Mercantile. And she's really cool. Um, she usually does collab live sales. So that's pretty awesome. Um, um, I'm always at a loss as to what to do next. I have crap all around me though. Okay. I have this Royal Copley duck planter. And he's like gorgeous, okay? And he's got like a, a hairline on the bottom. And he's got, I do believe it goes through to the inside, but it's like maybe they sealed it somehow or it's under the glaze somehow. I don't know, she, no, she won't do Instagram because I was trying to find her on Instagram so I could know when her sales were, but. She's like secretive about that. Even around the little rim, there's no chippies. Um, and I love like the coloring of the Royal Copley stuff. That's stuff I like to collect, but apparently like in the Midwest, y'all see that all the time. And this little duck is going to be $15, number 24 for the Royal Copley duck. $15, number 24. And they did have one across the, the store from this guy in another booth for twice the price. So I was glad to find this one. And he does have crazing, like I said. Um, and just that, you know, you could put, I forget what they call them, but the Christmas fruit la la's in there and make them all Christmassy and do it for every season because he's and he's a gift for a guy or a girl. What is that? Slinky? It's like a slinky, but not. Okay. Now, I have this other owl who I think is like freaking awesome. To me, he kind of looks like a pagan owl or like the owl from. The Mothman prophecies and he like wiggles around a little but he's pretty sturdy I mean he's pretty stuck in there and you can tell somebody hand carved that from sticks and like a stump you can see where the you can see a crack there where like the bark is starting to give and he was made in 1977 he's marked 12 to 1977 so you know he is kind of a christmas owl made in december and all and he is going to be nine dollars number 22 for the wooden owl nine dollars number 22. i just like his eyes i think he's awesome You got your box? Yay! Yeah, Vintage Vinny. It's definitely Royal Copley. I know it's not marked, but there's one across the store that was marked. And so this, again, is $9, number 22, for the hand-carved wooden owl. With the cute little eyes and the cute little beak. He does! There's something like... I'm like, is this from, you remember when they did the Close Encounters of the Third Kind, like, remake, but it was like a prequel, and there was always this owl there, maybe that's where I saw, I know I've seen this owl in some kind of movie, but I'm not sure, anyway, I thought he was rad, 
So if he never sells, I won't be bummed. I will keep him for my collection. Okay, so what do like flower frogs normally sell for on live sales? Hey, soulmate. Like an alien. <laughs> um, shy, I love Nate. He's so sweet. Because I got this flower frog and it's big and it's glass. And he cost, and he's got like, uh, if you can see it, some like scratches in the glass. Anyway, I know people are always looking for flower frogs, but I paid, I wish I had my sheet next to me. Like it was like six bucks. So I tried to sell them for $10 number 26, but I understand if you guys are like, no way. Everybody else sells them for five. Um, okay, cool. $10 number 26 for the flower frog. And now I have seen a giant metal one this size because I know everybody's after the metal ones. And I want to say it was $15. So I'd have to like mark it up for my time and, you know, go and get it and shipping it. It is in another city. But it is there and it is cool looking. And I just wish some people would have a sale one day. So that's $10, number 26 for the flower frog. You put your marble collection and y'all all know what you do with these. Except for maybe Kismet. They might not know. Hey, Sherry Lynn. How's it going, girl? Okay. Now I have this huge gift for a cat person who has a fat cat. And... Likes to garden or have pottery in their yard. Or he could be an indoor fat cat. But it would make a good get, good gift for a fat cat person. Or maybe just a person that likes cats in general. He is glazed over. So he's kind of like brown and has different shades of blue. And his nose is huge. And it looks like a mushroom. Look at that. Anyway, he is... $15, number 15, and I'll go on showing him to y'all because there's no damage to him. But he's got like, it is to a cat. Look at its face. How is that not a cat? What would you think it is? And there's this cattail in the back. What else would it be, Wendy Melton? That's totally a cat. And when I picked him up, I was like, ooh, look, a fat cat. And then this lady laughed at me. She was like, it's just the way you said that. But um, you could tell they had him, I guess, out on the porch or out in the garden. He's kind of got some, like, I don't know, outdoorsiness to him. So I'd have to clean him a little. But he is a pretty cool guy. And since there is nothing wrong with him and really no signs of use after I cleaned that up, it would make an awesome gift. So... $15, number 15 for the fat cat. And Wendy Melton, I want to know what animal you think this is. Not a cat. No, I mean, I want it. I have seven real ones. Oh, well, tell me if you really want it, Wendy Melton. I know, like, times are tough right now, so. He is cute. I love that face. It's okay, Wendy. <laughs> Pleasantly plump. <laughs> my brother has a fat cat, and that's my absolute favorite. Well, he has seven cats, which um, I think is way too many to have. But his fat cat is my favorite cat out of all the cats. Okay, again. Have this Christmas tree skirt by Martha Stewart. It's a button-on. Christmas tree skirt. Um, feels like satin or acrylic. It would be nice to lay on. If you have little ones that like to lay under the tree. And it's from 2002. So it's not vintage. But it's cute. And it is $7. Number 6 for the Martha Stewart tree skirt. And if I could do Martha Stewart's voice I would. But I can't. 
And yeah, man, it's pretty cool. And it's a full size tree skirt. George happens before I do. George comes on at, well, I'm central time. So eight o'clock Eastern time. My brother had a cat that weighed 30 pounds. Oh, cats don't play though. They will chase away a dog. Um, did I even write that down? Probably not. I know I said seven dollars. I think I said number six. We'll go with that for the Martha Stewart tree skirt. And then my super vintage tree skirt's like stuck under all this stuff, so I'll have to get there eventually. Oh my god, and I got a box in between my legs. So I guess I should go for the table stuff. So we can get to that eventually. Um, this is like, I'm guessing, a little photo tree. I mean, it doesn't have glass over the pieces. So I guess you could put whatever you want in there. It does have all of its little frames. One needs to be reattached to the branch. But... They have no maker's mark. The bottom is weird, like a folder you would have had back in school. And let me see how much these puppies weigh. Nope, there's the skin. And the battery fell out, but it's right here. They're kind of heavy duty is basically what I'm saying. They're not hollow. Um. So it'd be cool if you could put like your kids' pictures as they're going through school. Cut out their little faces and embarrass them. Yeah, so it weighs just over a pound. One pound, 1.7 ounces. So with packaging and everything, it's definitely going to be over a first class. But I could definitely send this in a padded flat rate mailer. Or a box, whatever's cheapest. Anyway, I keep forgetting I'm, I'm selling things. This is going to be $7, number 21. And I do have two of these. So, if, you know, the first two people to type it in, number 21, you have the option of getting the photo tree. So, let's see. Can go in first. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Oh, it only go to eighth grade. So then you would have to get the other one so they can go through um, high school and college. And hopefully they graduate college in four years for your sake. Okay. Next up, I have this old school vintage Santa. And he was a tree topper. And... He has a strange looking cord that I guess connects to light somehow. But fortunately, he has a metal thing in his head where you can just hang him like an ornament. And he's got a fur coat. And he's got a light that doesn't work in one hand unless you know what that wire goes to. And he's holding a golden basket of like pine cones and pine needles and all that kind of stuff. And... This little Santa is going to be, let's see, let's look at his face, look at his face. Oh, he's just so fuzzy and his underbelly is like golden too. And hey, there's his belt. Okay, $3, number 23 for the Santa Claus ornament, $3, number 23. Crafty Jackie in the house. Hey, oh my vintage. OMV in the house. <sighs> okay, Wendy Melton. Love you. Be good. Happy Thanksgiving if I don't see you before then. So $3. And he's vintage. I'm telling you. I can just tell. $3, number 23 for the Santa ornament. All right. Then this is from 1988. And it is 
a hound dog. Thank you, Wendy. And Gretchen's here. Oh, hey, Gretchen. And see you up there. Sorry I missed you coming in. Um, He's a cutie. He's like a little pillow, but he's in one of those embroidery stitch or whatever frame loop thingies. And it says Wrangler Bells Christmas 1988 on the back. And he is going to be $2, number 10, for the hound dog in a present box Christmas ornament from 1988. Oh, Lord, my eyes are going nuts. Hey, Terry Sarsanella, I didn't see you come in either. <laughs> Thanks, Gretchen. Gretchen has made some amazing stuff on her channel. And if y'all haven't checked out her channel, which I'm sure you probably all have. Um, D is like the crafty one. The dog you're talking about, ornament? $2. Did I even say? It? Yeah, I did. $2, number 10, Jackie. If that's the one you're talking about, I'm writing you down for them. So take your time typing in the number. Um, yeah. D is super crafty and, like, does can fix anything. And then Gretchen creates, like, I call them fru -la -las. I don't know the real names. And they're not vignettes, but there's another name for the fru -la -la things and she sent one to d if y'all didn't watch the video penis yeah that's very grown up sipping mud <laughs> all right um do y'all remember kindergarten cop because this is what that comment reminds me of assemblage that's it assemblage okay Girls have, boys have penises and girls have vaginas. That's what it reminded me of. Okay, now this owl is very cool and I would think he is a retro owl. He is a solid ceramic. And I guess maybe a napkin holder or um, recipe holder. <laughs> that was my favorite movie growing up as a kid. <laughs> And he's super cute. And where did I pick this guy? I picked this guy up today, so he was affordable. He is going to be $6, number 12, for the ceramic owl thing that I believe would hold napkins, but he's like not huge, so I don't know. $6 for the ceramic owl. And I'm going to call him the 1970s owl. I think he's 60s or 70s. Vintage Vinny's still here? Somebody up top. His name was like Sipping Mud. He said penis. Like that's all he said. And I thought it was very kindergarten cop of him. <laughs> Who said the P word? Okay. So this is pretty cool. And this is a Linux Sheer Split Angel. And it is not vintage because it has Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and Instagram um, designs on the box. But it was originally $40. And so let's take this bad boy out and see how it do. So it's pretty heavy. It's still got its little plastic bag. Okay, and so there's a plastic piece you pull out, and I'm assuming that gives the batteries life. Should we pull out the plastic piece? Number 12. I got you, Gretchen, for number 12. Got you, Gretchen. For the ceramic owl thingam thingamadoo. I know you're going to create something with that watch. Should we pull out the plastic? He needs to get his mind out of the gutter. Eh, 
Well, I think it's funny. You know, that's a dude's name. At least come in with vagina, but whatever. Okay, I'm pulling the plastic out. I want to see what Angel do. Okay. Oh, cool. So she glows like this. And so she's a pierced angel. Oh, my God. Epilepsy warning. Ornament. And she's gorgeous. Look at her little face. And she's got a little tassel. So. Don't pull it out. I already did. It's like, can I stick it back in? No, I think it'll be okay because it has an on and off switch. So. And then there's a little thing to where you can change the battery eventually if you have to. But, um, okay, originally $40. I did not pay a lot. What should I sell it for? What should I sell it for? I'm so bad at pricing things. It's like people pay $10 million for stuff <laughs> on some streams. And then on my streams, it's like, eh. I guess I don't have the clientele yet. It'll get there one day. So this is a Linux Angel, three and a half inches. It does have a rave inside its body. And yes, my friend has epilepsy. Actually, a lot of a few of my friends have epilepsy. Um, and she lights up. So this is not for Sherry Lynn's sister. This is going to be $12, number 20. I think that's a great deal. Everybody's probably like, that's too much. $12, number 20 for the Linux Angel. Sell it for 8 to 10, Vinny. $10, number 20 for the Linux Angel. $10, number 20. If not, I might just like gift this to somebody. Terry, I got you for number 20. For the angel with the rave inside. She's a true raver in her enemies. Okay. Um these are pretty awesome. These are a set of six. And you know, we're not allowed to have Thanksgiving this year. So poo on that. And poo on. I don't know if that's true for my state. But poo on all of your governors who think that. It's time to branch out from Delvinny and try something different. You could go on my Instagram and tell me if I'm pricing okay. I have a Dell laptop, you little turd, and don't get a Dell laptop. They fall apart really fast. Like, it works amazing. I got a um, gaming one, and it's super fast, but the body that, like, holds all the innards fell apart within, like, a year and a half. So these are, um, let me try to get a good swan napkin rings, and they are ceramic, and I have to use two hands, I guess. I have six of them. And I have tons of sets of napkin rings, but these are by far the coolest and I think work the best for Christmas. And you get all six of these little puppies for $5. Number eight, six. Well, geez, these could be porcelain. Probably are. Porcelain or ceramic swan napkin rings. For five dollars. I'm gonna say number eight because I forgot the number I said. And again, look at the little detail. You can see their little head and beak. And their wings have the little I can't turn anything the right way. You know, free la la in them. Five dollars number eight for the swan napkin rings. And there is six of them. Back in rings. 
This laptop, it needs to be taped together. It's pretty sad. Oh, and by the way, YouTube is now automatically setting everybody's videos to 140 in the settings. 140. What do I call that? Let me go look. Like quality in the playback. So like go up to 720 if you can't do 1080 and the picture will be better. You go in the no cell pile. What am I gonna do with all this stuff? Jeez, I have a lot of decorating going on. I'm gonna have to give up on my goal of <laughs> reselling soon. Or try other platforms, maybe. I'll never give up. Okay, so this is awesome. God, dog. God. Dang it, T Loop. If y'all ever saw the Cajun version of the Thundercats that they make for, like, to make fun of the Louisiana people, it is so freaking hilarious. Okay. Ooh, we're in the. Now, if we put on the Linux Rave Angel, we'd really go, um, go hard. You still can't see it. She's Louise. Anyway, if you can see the color shooting down, it's not one big globe. It's like um, a blue, a yellow, a red, a green, a pink light, and then it repeats the pattern. And then in the middle is a red light for the star. And I have two like this. I forgot I had two because... I picked up one today and I had already had one. And they have that silver like tinsel around the outer edge. So they're pretty neat looking. And so that's what it looks like not on on camera. <laughs> and oh no, this one's different. Okay. So this is the first one and it's going to be Five doll hairs. Number one. Five dollars number one for the star. And it's not like a tree topper one. It's just like a, I guess, put in your window on or do something with it. And it's got a back connection so you can plug multiple things in. Got you, Sherry Lynn, for number one. Star, tinsel, light. Sherry Lynn, I tried to get my dad to help me. I was like, Dad, the best sell I ever did was the time you helped me. And he was just like silent. Okay. And then the other one, oh my God. Jesus, take the wheel. Is a tree topper. And it's pretty cool. Like, it's got like a hard aluminum like surface in the back. And let me get the plug. Oh my God. Jesus, take the wheel. And it's very multicolored and you can't really see it good even with the lights off. So I'm not going to bother. But as you can see, it works and it is a tree topper and it is shaped like a star. And it's got varying colors. It's got pinks and reds and greens and blues and yellows and the clear in the middle. And since it's a tree topper, we're going to charge one more dollar for this. It's going to be six dollars number two for the tinsel star tree topper. Six dollars number two. I've lost all three of my writing utensils. Ah, oh, there's the original one. Star tree topper. And it's really cool. If it's, it's probably not vintage from the plug. But it has, definitely has a vintage look to it. It's really pretty. 
Sherry Lynn, it looks like you're first for number two. Yes, I see you first on YouTube and on StreamYard. Okay. Anybody like bears? I probably should research this before hand, but it's like I don't know. The inside seems like it'd be crystal, but the outside, I don't know, it's very clear. So it's hard to say. Glass or crystal, bears. I'm gonna get my pen out the way. And it's really heavy. So it's hard for me to hold. But this would be eight dollars. Number five for the glass or crystal bears. And let me see how much this bad boy weighs. Because Jesus Christ. That was like an ab workout and a half. Don't make me look bad. Two pounds, five ounces. So that's like the max I can hold out in front of me is two pounds. So this is $8, number five, I believe is what I said. And I will do some research for the next time and try to find out more about them. But they are gorgeous and they stand up on their own and they give you a really good workout. Bears, $8, number five. Bear glass crystal. Okay. And Manal is not here. I have some stuff to show Manal, which I guess I'll email her. Um, so I didn't sell that last tree uh, thing, I don't think. You get that off the bang old vintage tree skirt here. Oh, I have this cute little dainty left in um, China piece, and it's marked 1937, and it says hand painted, registered, U.S. patent official, and it's got some like pink up against the gold gilding there. I know, I take y'all for rides all live so long. There's some, like, little flowers painted on there. The gold gilding is awesome. Um, It's got quite a bit of gilding on the spouts. And just some, like, pink hues, like, um, shaded into the white. Very dainty. And... This little piece right here is going to be six dollars, number four. Look, I accidentally did Ma Martha Stewart's voice for the left in um little creamer, and I'm sure it's more for display than anything, but I guess you could use it for the dainty women in your life. Six dollars, number four, left in creamer. Hey, vintage and vinyl. Is that a vintage tree in a box? No, I wish it was a vintage tree in a box. Sorry, I do not have a vintage tree in a box. I do have some vintage ornaments and lights in a box. Okay. We're not going to go over the Southern Christmas living look at them. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a paper mache angel, and she like she's sturdy. Like, look, I squeeze her, and she keeps her shape. And her wings are like a composite, and so is her head and her hands. And she's really pretty. If anybody collects angels, and it's by Interpol International, and she is four dollars number three. For the, I call her paper mache, but I'm not sure that's what she is. Angel, four dollars, number three. Mm -hmm. What about vintage man? I don't know, vintage man. 
You get your man. Jackie, you just want a new man. And I busted this out for, for Jackie. Because I know she likes flamingos. But I didn't know if you'd like it or not. So don't feel obligated. Um, And it's in great condition. I don't think the people who had it ever used it. I'm trying to get the price tag off. Oh, of its face so you can see it. And I didn't pay a whole, whole lot for it either. And it's like a watercolor flamingo. And so this is good for the Florida people too. But I know Jackie likes it. And it's by Meritage. Or Meritage. But I don't know what store sells it. So it could be like walmart but it would have a walmart sticker i think or target but anyway the sticker says meritage and it says platter flamingo durstone hand wash recommended and it's tick tick and let me see how much it weighs oh my god i need more room zero like, I have to do all of this for my one-room home, <laughs> so it's kind of a challenge. Oh, zero. Well, it's not too heavy of a bladder. It's not as heavy as that bear, I don't think. Nope, it's not as heavy as a bear. Two pounds, 1.3 ounces. Anyway, what's, like, a good price for this? $8, number 16, for the flamingo plate. $8, number 16. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a bad back guy, too. Got you, Crafty Jackie. I get to go have surgery next month to fix the mutilated scar they gave me on my stomach for my ah, back surgery because i guess if you're not a super large person they like to go in through the front and it was a horrible 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 experience i don't wish that on anyone and then next up will be the um electronic back implant but they say you can take those out because I'm kind of worried about having, like, batteries inside of me. Um, this is a cool cut-out Santa. Like, cut out as any has holes in him. And you put a tea candle in there. And he's got a star on his head. And he's got um, pine cones. He is ceramic. He's holding gifts. He does have fuzzy gloves. And he's painted yellow on the inside. So he probably looks all golden-y when you... Put a um, candle inside of them or light. The bottle brush or whatever pine cone thing is rubber banded on there. But like he's, you know, old world Santa looking, which is my favorite Christmas style pretty much. And he's got a lot of stuff going through his beard, like grays and golds. And he's got a cute face. And he's not scary. And he's not, I don't know. He's weird, though, how his head has the lines and stuff on the thing. But anyway, $8, number 30, for the Santa candle. I'm going to call it a candle votive, even though I know it's not the right word. But um, he's really cool. He's got actual stones on his ceramic base and, like, actual wood. And like moss and stuff. He's neat. I just wish I could stay and chat with you all. What's wrong, Vintage Thrifted Treasures? Hi, Dana. You confuse me with the grace. I always forget. Um, I hope everything's okay. I hope you're feeling well. Eight dollars, really cool, really cool old timey Santa. Old timey old town. He's got Christmas tree and star cutouts. 
You guys need to spice up your lives with some more Santas. It's okay. I don't mind holding on to that bad boy. Um, then I have these lights again that I can't believe nobody wanted because you could even change the bulbs out for colorful bulbs. Maybe y'all just didn't believe me that they work. Oh, God. Here we go. And these are vintage. I can tell by the plug. I'm saying like probably 70s, 80s vintage, not like 50s vintage. But there they are. Look, this one's flickering. Let me screw them in. I don't know if you say joy to the world. I know this is not Hanukkah approved. It's got bells like carved into the plastic and the fake wax drips and the leaves on vines. And this pretty little light set needs a good home. No, but did you see my butterfly pin? It's awesome. Decent me that. It's really pretty. And the clasp actually holds the thing in. A lot of them don't do that. So... Hard to package. Seven dollars, number twenty-eight for the beautiful window Christmas decor. Seven dollars, number twenty-eight. You know y'all love some Christmas lights in your life. Christmas light candle. Seven dollars, number twenty-eight. I got you, Teresa Bryant. And I know where to get more of these. If anyone so feels the urge to have them. Okay. Unplug. Unplug. Let's unplug. That plug is like two inches too far from me. So I see Teresa Bryant. Terry Sarsanella. I'm going to go look for the other set for next time. Maybe you'll be interested. I'm glad you like it. And you know what? You could put, um, if you're into that kind of like meditation stuff, you can put like the chakra colors in it once Christmas is over and you could just use that in your meditation room. Okay. I did mark you down. All right, my lovelies. I do have some ornaments that I probably said before. I'm going to do the ones that I want to sell or the one that I want to sell individually first. Maybe there's two. Okay. This one's cute. It's made in China, which is like, wow, not amazing. But it is a little carousel and it is an ornament. And, it, and I just broke the top off. That's so sad. I'll fix it. I have super glue. And then I'll ask if anybody wants it next time. But it's cute. It opens up like that. Boom. I feel like Dee and her um, treasure craft fish nose. But not as sad because that was sad. I'll fix you, my precious ornament. So this morning I woke up, got out to the living room, and see why I was doing my live chat last night. So I knocked over my candle on the warm room. Oh my god. Oh my god. Good night, Laura. Yeah, I got some I got some ornaments. I did um that with a study group at school. I went to their apartment and I was always the outcast, so it was very crazy that I got invited. Because we would take turns doing an online test. We would take turns as to who would go first and fail the test. And then everybody didn't know the questions. And we even asked permission and the teacher said it was fine. Anyway, I get to their apartment and I like lean over to pet their dog and my scarf gets in their candle wax warmer and just spills it all over the table. It's like, hi, welcome me to your life. So this is a little let it flow Christmas ornament. And I'm sure it was homemade. It's an itty bitty titty bitty I think nice ladies ornament for their tree 
or just decor in general. And it's just one dollar, number 18, for the Let It Flow ornament. One dollar, number 18. She did. I love the wooden ornaments too. I'm glad she enjoyed them. Got you, Christina, for number 18. I know. Um, I can't believe I came across all those ornaments and like, I don't see them around anymore. And I was like, shoot, cause I got a like a literally a tub of them. Okay. This is, since nobody likes old world, old world Christmas, I don't know who's going to like these ornaments, but I'll pack them in with some other cool ornaments. Oh my God. Reach. Reach, reach for the, the sky. Is that what he would say? Woody from Toy Story. Okay. All right, here we go. So there's that song. Um, I don't know. The 12, 12 Days of Christmas, My True Love Gave to Me song. Was there Three Swans of Swimming? Is that what this is? Anyway, it's like a spongy type. It's not that amazing, but, you know, it's going in a lot. And then we have this. I was going to say, you know, somebody's grandma made it, but it was made in China by MTY International. It was made in Taiwan, Taipei, Taiwan. And it's signed Kim. And it's a beautiful little star. And it does look handmade. So if you're into the old world decor for your Christmas tree, you'll get that one. And then this one has a tag as well, even though it kind of looks handcrafted. I'm pretty sure you would put like potpourri or something in here. And it's by Zing Ding Arts and Crafts from Lebanon, Tennessee. Wow. I like Lebanon, Lebanon. I hear back in the day it used to be like Las Vegas and now poor Lebanon. So you get those and you get this very vintage. I'm sure this one has to be handmade. It looks hand stitched. What's going on computer charger? Uh oh, my Dell computer plug is not wanting to function. Let me fix it. Fix, fix yourself. Hold on, I need two hands. All right, so here's one, and it's a little mouse in a stocking. And then, hey, Christy, how's Tippy? We have the straw, oh, oh, straw angel, and she's very well done. Um, let's see. And then on the back, she does have a wooden head. The way they did her wings, like when you pull her out for next year, you can actually straighten them. Like they stuck a pin straight through it. And look, it's like a um, tamale almost. So you get her. And then you get this very not fancy at all clear plastic Christmas tree as a bonus. Should have saved that for a package topper. <laughs> and then this guy, who I think is just adorable. He's made from little puffers, like those little carpety filling puffers. But he lost his eyes. But they still have dots for where they go. And he looks like an Englishman, like um, one of the bloody red coats. And he's got the tall, you know, hat. But he also looks like a little round snowman. And he reminds me of the ornaments from when I was a kid. Anyway, you get one, two. And this thing, which shouldn't count either. So that doesn't count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
seven, but really nine ornaments. And those are going to be, look how cute this little angel is. And she's tick, tick, y'all. Thick, thick. So you get all of these ornaments for $7, number 25. $7, number 25. Man. Kitchen final, it's settled. 12 noon is our Coca-Cola tray show. <laughs> Okay, everybody's like, no, we don't want those ornaments. Up next, I have these two snowball ornaments, one Santa and his sleigh. And as you can see, it hangs out the snow globe at the bottom. So you get a present and you get Santa and his sleigh. And they're kind of heavy duty and cool. And let me see if there's any dates on them. No dates. They do kind of appear to be handmade. But you get the two of them for $2, number 27. Two of the snow globe ornaments. Okay, I don't think I'm ready to sell this lady yet, but look how freaking cool she is. A handmade doll I got at P, and she's got the plastic face at the uh, dealio, and she's got a purse and a parasail and a little thing on her butt, and they actually gave her legs, so I thought it was cool. If anybody's really interested, I could sell her. Okay, cool. So this is 100 musical lights from Michaels. And I think I've seen a year on them. I think it's like the 90s. And I don't know if they work, so we're about to find out together. But they have all kinds of, like, instructions on the back. So if the set does not light, gently push each lamp firmly into the socket. And sometimes becomes loose in transit. Well, I hope it didn't happen this time. So the box is really awesome looking. Ta da! So you could use that for some like ephemera stuff. Okay. Oh, they light up. And they do the music. So just look at that. I don't really care. 1992. So technically, technically vintage. And then it, when you're like, that's not the phone, Bruno. If you ever have a dog, this will happen. And then you can press the button to turn off the music. So yeah, they are pretty cool. Um, who would donate these when they still work? And how do they still work from 1992? Like, how does that happen? I don't think they ever really use them because look how they're all in place in the in the deal. So, um. Trying to see if any important information needs to be known. Go in your home. I hate when they don't want to go back in the box. Anyway, these I think will be I don't know. Twelve dollars number thirty-four for the singing nineteen ninety-two. Christmas collection musical lights from Vintage Michael. Look at that. Won't you just look at that? 
Thank you. That came up at the same time. So let me switch back to YouTube. Victoria H is showing first on YouTube. And I'm Tina B showing first on StreamYard. So I'm going by, with by with by <laughs> by what YouTube says. And I'm refreshing to make sure. And my computer takes forever to refresh. So 34. Singing lights. Victoria H, you will be the winner of the lights, according to YouTube. Set. All right. Victoria H, I think I already have. Okay, are you sure? Tina, do you want them? Because Victoria seems indifferent about it. Okay, Tina. Tina, you are the winner. You are the winner of the Michaels 100 Musical Lights set. Yay, Tina! Okay. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay. Tina B. All right, Tina B, have you purchased from me before? Tina B. If you have, you're in my Rolodex. But if you have not, be sure to contact me with your information. It's like, I feel like I've, I mean, I've seen you in other places, but I don't know if I've seen you here. Okay, this is really, 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 really cool. It is, you've been looking for a set for years. Really? I'm so excited you got them. Okay, yeah, so just uh, make sure to email me, you know, all the usual stuff from the live sales. Your real name, PayPal email, mailing address, and then I'll add you to my Rolodex, and I'll have your info forever. Okay, this is Barbershop Santa. And he's standing next to a barber pole, and he's got scissors in his hand and a comb. And look, he's got a little, like, train conductor hat and his little glasses. And look at his little face. And I think somebody hand-painted this. He's not glazed over. And he was made in China. And it looks like something's under the Made in China sticker, which makes him not, you know anything special but he is special because you'll never find another santa like this you all know that and that's just a little paint loss on his knee and it's awesome that he's you know not glazed over so if ever you wanted to paint him different shades you could anyway he is so cool he is five dollars number 33 first barbers barbershop santa $5, number 33. He'd be like the coolest Santa you'll ever see. I guess I shouldn't start off by being like, it's from China. It's not that great. But it really is cool. And he's got his little doodities on his hat. Like, look at that face. Where are you going to find another barbershop Santa? Or Santa Claus holding scissors? You're not. You're not going to find it. Tippy, I got you for the world's rarest Santa Claus barbershop um, figurine. And... I don't think I'm going to be charging you shipping on this one because I have some stuff I want to send you, Tippy. You're a hairdresser! Yay! So, I know that one lady went rogue in Texas and was, like, opening up her hair salon. So, have they let y'all continue to stay open there? But you have to describe the items accurately. Yeah. Um, I know. I'm bad about that. I'm like... This is what's wrong with it, and blah, blah, blah. Now this 
is a Santa Claus ornament, and he is completely ceramic, and he's really cool. And it says 1908 Germany, and he's carrying a sack of toys. It's got like a little horse and a present, and he's got his garland, and again, he's not glazed over either. And he is a pretty good size for, you know, he's like Santa Claus ceramic figurine size. But let's see how tall he is. He is five and three quarter inches tall. That's cool. Library seems like a laid back job. Except for when you have to find books in random places and put them away. So he is really, really cool for an ornament. He's going to be $4, number 29, for this ceramic Santa Claus ornament. $4, number 29. And he could just take the string off and use him as a figurine because he's that cool. I just like the garland. Got you, Mike and Krista. Okay. Next up is for the bird lovers. <laughs> Thank you, Leslie. Okay. And, oh, oh, can't get it off my, okay. So, I'm not sure if this is vintage, but he definitely has a vintage look to him. And I think these are not cockatiels, but the pink parrots that have those crazy personalities. And they talk a lot. And it's a paperweight. It's convex. It's really a beautiful design, beautiful colors. Um, so for that bird lover in your life, it really has no signs of use. Um, and he is going to be $8, number 31, for the parrot paperweight. And he just caught my eye in the flea market. I was like, I can't leave this, dude. Even if he's, you know, not my pet. So he would make a really great addition to your desk. That is $8, number 31, for the pink parrot. Tropical. Wish I was there, parrot. Um, okay, this is not vintage, but it is very cool, and it is a frosted vanilla bean snowman, and he's got my favorite color flannel. Dominant 31 person falls to a thrift schism, and the rest of the people will, too. Okay. And this one has actual, like, vanilla beans in them. And he smells really good. And not, like, the stanky Bed Bath & Beyond vanilla, but, like, the really smelly good vanilla, I guess, because they're actual vanilla beans. Mm. And it still smells strong. And it's a high-fragrance sachet. And I guess if you could fit a tea light up in there once the fragrance one runs out, because he does have all these cuts or just put a different sachet and he's super cute has a super cute nose and I'm jealous of his hat and his scarf and he's glittery around you know the top and around the bottom and around his little hat where it should be fur and it has a to and from tag where no one's 
written anything so you can still use it as a gift it's still like zip tied on there and this bad boy is going to be ten dollars number 32 ten dollars number 32 for the snowman vanilla bean sachet perfect gift for the flannel lover in your life Number 32, $10. Got you, D. I think he's just precious, especially the flannel. Oh my gosh. That's like my favorite color flannel. And, okay, Jesus. Let's let this happen. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whoa now. Whoa now. So, I think we all remember these threaded ornament balls. But these are like made, well, they're from 1992. So they are vintage, but what I like about these is the like brass looking loop hanger and they're super shiny and super pretty and you don't see these too much anymore. Um, let's see, they have the red, blue, green, gold, and white. They're by Pyramid, which I believe is a Walmart brand because I had a tree topper, like a space and old tree topper by that brand. No, it's from Eckert's. Oh my God. Do you guys remember Eckert's? <laughs> I remember Eckert's. We don't have them here anymore. And from Roche Industries Incorporated, Gastonia, North Carolina. And so the box is super cool. And the ornaments are super cool. You get three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen ornaments in a package. And this is going to be. And I know they say two ninety nine on the box, but I'm pricing them higher. Seven dollars number sixty nine because they are so flipping awesome. And if nobody takes these, I got to put them on my own tree. $7 for the 18 threaded ball ornaments from Eckerd's. You get the vintage Eckerd sticker as well. I just like the box. I like how Pyramid does their boxes. They always have that old school look to them. $7 number 69. None of yours like that survived the cats. A lot of them don't. Like, when I find them, sometimes they have, like, stuff printed on them. And then, and then the threads are all coming apart. And it kind of makes, I don't know. I love these, though. I think they're grand. All right. Now, these guys are from the 80s, I'm pretty sure. Because one of them, well, this one says he's from the 80s. And then the other two are like the same style, but made by a different company. So I'm pretty sure they're 80s as well. Um, and he was made in Hong Kong. And there's something inside the Santa um, stocking holder. And I'm not sure what it is. It's a mystery. I've tried to peel off the pill and stick bottom and there is no hole. So I don't know what could be in there. And it's kind of got some weight to it. And then this little mouse stocking holder has some like cement clay crap in the bottom to make them heavier. And it's from 1985, which was before I was born, but that was the year my brother was born. And so they do look super vintagey. Hi. And they came out of two different booths. Santa looks like he's tripping out. Um, and the third one is this little guy, and he and Santa are made by JSNY Hong Kong, and then this mouse says 1985. If 
future. So I'm not sure, you know, exactly the dates on the other two, but they're definitely, definitely vintage. And you get the set of three for $15, and that's going to be number 73. $15, number 73 for actual vintage Christmas. Where's my ink pencil? S or S. I don't see. Sam or Sarah. Oh, Thrifty is here. Oh, hey, Thrifty. So Sherry Lynn got the really awesome, really awesome stocking holders. And let me know if you ever find out what's inside of Santa, Sherry Lynn, because I'm curious. Okay. Now this little ditty is the actual tree skirt of from before I was born and the one I grew up with. And it was stained up like crazy. And I oxy cleaned it twice and then scrubbed it. And I thought I just saw there's like a little teeny yellow spot that if you hold it up to a light bulb, you will see. But other than that, mint condition, and that may have been from when I put it on the fence to dry. I'm not too sure. But it's got the ruffled edges. The rabbit has the little tail still attached. It's got the three swans that are like trying to get popcorn from the bear. It's got the bear portrait. It's got the cat dressed as Santa and he's got all the lights wrapped around the deer horns and the deer's wearing a bell. And then mom and bear is like knitting stockings. And then there's these three sheep by the window over here and they're wrapping a present. And then you can see they've got a spool of ribbon with some scissors and then they have some ribbon attached outwardly and it's kind of got some wear to it of course because it's before 1985 for sure and this is by Bo Dangles it's trademarked and copyright Wellington and the artist that did the imagery is Hughes H-U-G-H-E-S and I've seen what these go for, and I know people are really interested in vintage tree skirts. And I don't know what to do. Like, I know offer-ups don't work on my channel. But I think it is at least, at least worth 35 bucks. And, like, this is, like, nostalgia big time for me. And it's super clean. Like, I did a really good job taking, you know, the stains out. It's super unique. I mean, you're not going to find another one like this. If you do, I don't know. You've lucked out. So, this is going to be $35, number 76, for the full-size vintage tree skirt. $35, number 76. I don't want to sell myself short on it. Oh, they're stringing popcorn, the geese. That's why they're getting popcorn from Papa Bear. And it's got a little mouse with the lights on top of the deer. Like, are y'all, I don't know if I'm letting y'all see this close up enough. No, I didn't sell a lot of any. <laughs> So now nobody's interested in it. Okay. I know y'all hear the sound of disappointment in my voice because I worked really hard on it. <laughs> but I'm sure I'll have no problem selling it on a different platform. Thank you guys for the consideration.
I've seen I've seen the vintage ones go for way 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 more than thirty five dollars. I just don't have the people in my life sales, and um, that's okay. One of these days I will. Thirty five dollars. Like the Martha Christmas skirt. I'm not going to charge $35 on, but that one has, I don't know, nostalgic powers, and it's super old. Now, people are obsessed with Hoosier glass, and I really, like, I had that FTD glass, the green glass, and everybody's like, that is floral glass in here, like, Hoosier is floral. Anyway, so I have these two. And they're the same size. They're matching green vases. And then I think I'm about, oh, I've got some more vintage Christmas. So. Oh, my God. Act right. Fairy, fairy lights are tangled. Oh, God. Sam, help me. What do I do in this situation? I just shove them both in there. Okay. And I guess I'm supposed to have the lights off for this. What? It's going to be hell going through it. So you can put little fairy lights in it. Or like flashy lights. And you get two matching ones. I have two streams of fairy lights. But you're not getting those. I just found them. I thrifted them. And I only paid a dollar for the fairy lights, and Sam and Sarah said you can't get fairy lights for a dollar. Because everybody's like, Dollar Tree, we're Dollar. And these are um, nine and a half inches tall, and they've got a pretty wide base. Let's see. And I haven't cleaned these yet, by the way. Three and a half inches, and the top is. Four and a half inches, and you would get the pair for like 15 bucks, number 71 for the Hoosier glass. $15, number 71. No, they don't glow. That's just regular green glass. I mean, I haven't tried it, but I don't think so. Because I'll see people putting their pictures. Like, I saw a picture of that exact vase on Instagram the other day. And people were, like, hemming and hawing over it. So I figured I'd give mine a try. I don't know what number I said. I know I said $15. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm pretty positive they don't glow. Um... Actually, hang on. I might have my. Oh my god, I'm stepping over so much stuff. My, um. Nope. It's probably in the car. I never have my black light flashlight when I do it. Are you where you're supposed to be? No. No. I gotta tell y'all though, the trick to living in a tiny house is to have a million, a billion, a billion shelves and drawers and armoires. But I'm almost about like stuff jam full. Oh God, more Christmas. Oh my God. Okay, I'm just gonna do, I wanna say four more things because they're in my thumbnail. And if people want to go back through what did not sell, I can do that as well. Like this stuff towards the beginning. Okay. So I've got these, these this pair of, Carrie wants to know the number of the tree skirt. The tree skirt was number 76 and it was $35. You sure, Terry? Oh my gosh. Well, I hope you have grandkids and I hope they enjoy it as much as I did. That is an amazing tree skirt. 
Yay, Terry! Okay. So I have these two Aladdin thermoses here, and I bought them at the same time. So I think they're related. Um, let's see. They have a lot of... This one is U.S. patent number. So it does have its patent number, and it holds... 0.97 liters, so almost a full liter, and it's a pump a drink. So, like at your family gathering, you put your hot chocolate or whatever in there. And like I cleaned it up and it took me forever and a day. Like I didn't scrub this part hard because as you can see, well, maybe, yeah, there it is. There is some wear to the flannel, but I thought this was a perfect like look to um these thermoses is this plaid flannel and anyway so when you pump this down make sure your fingers over this button and i don't know how that had if it had to be that way <laughs> originally but i was like it doesn't work oh it does say cover hole okay so yeah that's how it was so anyway it works and well, also odd plaid bottle. Okay. Anyway, this part down here unscrews, and it's got, like, threads. It's supposed to unscrew. So, I guess you can put, like, hot water inside the thermos to keep it. Yeah, it's a pump thermos to keep it warm. And then you have the little Aladdin thermos that I bought with it at the same time. And it's in great condition as well. Um, like the last set I sold, only one was usable. And it was very atomic style looking. This one to me is just very Christmas or Christmas time looking. And the last one I sold for 15. I think most people use these for decor, but the last set was a lot smaller and not as cool. So what you guys think? Small in town. It looks like a pump thermos. The flamingo sold to Crafty Jackie. The flamingo, I'll show you. It's sold to Crafty Jackie, but it's a um it's like a watercolor look. It's just a platter, it's ceramic, it's pretty thick. It's made by Meritage. And who knows? Maybe Meritage is a casino around here because sometimes we get casino plates. But he's just very pretty, pretty colors. And it is sold to Crafty Jackie. I knew she liked flamingo stuff. And then this is a cinnamon broom, but it's large. I'm not going to try to ship it to y'all, but I had wanted one. So I guess I like manifested it into reality and got it up thrift shop for like witchy kind of reasons like not really witchy but you know what do they call it old wives tales I wanted a cinnamon broom okay so the Aladdin pump thermos and little thermos what should I do what should I price it at Believe it or not, it gets its way, way worse. I'm lost in chat, so I'm not going to pay attention. Okay. I guess because of its wear. <sighs> this is probably a huge mistake. $20. Number 74 for the beautifully gorgeous flannel Aladdin thermos. And it's Aladdin mini thermos. And you can use it for hot chocolate. Yeah, I did 20. That's what I did, thrift you. $20. And I already forgot the number I said. Um, $20, number 74. Somebody typed in the right number that I said before. They go on ahead with it. And I know, like, a lot of people collect these. I know Michelle from, um, 
comfy cozy living collects them puts them up on her fridge so that's a steal people twenty dollars number 74 for the flannel aladdin thermoses all right Okay, so let me go back through some things in the back through box that were from the beginning. Um, if I do have squirrel people in here, these did not sell. And they're a good size. I want to say they were both four inches. Like that one has this cute little tail. And that one's like, give me your nut. And he's like, no. And he's like, please. There are a few. I got you for 74 I think y'all can upsell that because <laughs> you and your mom, your mom is good at that. She is very good at selling things. Okay, so these squirrels are about four inches tall. And they're mid-century as heck. And they sit very nicely. I wish I had a platform for you guys. Could use Crafty Jackie's platter, but I don't want to break it. She's going to keep them awesome. And these were $10, number seven, for the pair of squirrels, which would make them like five bucks each. I think that's pretty fair for these. She decorates with them. Yeah, that's a good plan. Vintage Cat and Paws. I got you for number seven. Okay. Um. Oh, I forgot to do Santa. This is a Santa candle. His nose is a little smushed, okay? Not gonna lie. His nose is a little... Not too bad, but like the pink coloring is gone on the tip. Just the tip, Vinny. Um, and he's super cute. I don't, I, I know these are from at least the 90s because I had them as a kid. I don't know if they go as far back as the 80s. Um, I don't know what the price is at either. Uh, I know he's just a single, but he's freaking awesome. I should almost keep him. And he's got the white brows and the pretty nose and the green gloves and the belly full of jelly. And he's never been burned. Oh, Lord, he's so cute. And it's cool enough right now to send him. <sighs> How much do these shitty move? I'm going to do just tonight because I want to research it more, but I'm willing to do $12, number 71, on the Santa Claus candle. But if I find out they're not worth that much in the next sale, I will lower the price on them. I just don't want to because these aren't as common as they used to be. And vintage Christmas is getting hard to find. So $12, number... 71. Emancipation. You'd have a hard time lighting them up. I would too. I would too. Mom says $10. $10. Number 71 for the Santa Claus candle. $10. Number 71. I need to get Sam and Sarah like on my live to, to tell me <laughs> what to do. So if anybody's interested, $10, number 71. Okay. Um, going back through the things that I think should have sold but did not from the beginning. This is a great gift for anybody. It's also great decor piece. It actually would go really flipping good in my house. Um, it's a wall pocket. It is stamped, made in Japan, which you probably cannot see too well, but it's right there. Believe me, it's there. 
And I picked it up today, so I haven't cleaned it yet. I'm sure some of the staining will remain. 71, Crafty Jackie. Got you for 71. And it has crazing throughout the glazed part. I mean, there's no issues on the back side. That's the little hangy hole. Um, and it's a green and blue bird. There's his head. There's his tail feathers. And he's on like a cherry blossom tree. And this guy is $10, number nine, for the wall pocket which we had decided, I want to say, seven inches tall. Six and three quarters. So, yeah, pretty much seven inches tall. And this would be a good gift for anyone, anybody, any any woman out there, or even men who like um, Asian decor, oriental look. Ten dollars, number nine. And oriental just means from the orient, and it's an item. So nobody bug me about it. Ten dollars, number nine for the wall pocket. No, nobody. Okay, that's okay. I think he belongs on my wall. Um. Okay, Royal Copley is back. He didn't sell. I know. Um. Sarah would say sixteen dollars, but I think I did it for a little less than that. Because these Royal Copley planners are, are nice, man. Look at that coloring. And then you can do your, what's the word, vintage cat and paws. Oh, I haven't put it on makeup in a while for my videos. I apologize. Um, assemblage. Assemblage. One day that word will remain in my head. Okay, he was towards the beginning, but I didn't write my things in order because I'm good like that. Mm -hmm. Ceramic Santa. Did I not even write him down? I want to say it was 15, but soon. I don't, oh, there he is. $15, number 24 for the Royal Copley Duck. He does have that like hairline thing that is, I'm pretty sure, under the glaze or somebody fixed it up and it's on the inside. So it's not even about to break. You put an assemblage in them and you use them for every holiday. I'm telling you. I understand if you live in the Midwest and you don't like Royal Copley, but if you live somewhere else, he's amazing. $15, number 24. He's pretty. Thank you, Tina B. Look at that breast. Look at them breastuses on this duck. People eat duck for Christmas. I guess it's not a good seller selling point. Um, Lord. $14 final offer for the Royal Copley duck number 24. $14. That's a steal. He's really big. He is eight inches tall. He's a planner. Did I see Jackie wants 71? I do believe so. The, the Santa Claus ornament. That's because y'all know how to do it. I don't know how to do it right. Okay. Everybody's passing on Royal Copley. Now, I do have this <laughs> shiny wall climber, climber duck. You can do it either way, but I don't think anybody's interested in that either. I think he's gorgeous. Like, look, he's just so pretty on the wall. Or you could put him this way. Look at that. Won't you just look at that? And I got him at that antique store where I got the, like, left and cat and the big fuzzy cat and it was great it was a good time and look at those beautiful beautiful colors and i say he's shiny not because i'm 100 percent, but because of the way the number stamped on the back and it's nine two nine i believe 
And he does kind of, you know, he has some crazing going on. And he would be $12 number 79 for the Shawnee Duck Wall Climber. You don't put anything inside of him. I'm pretty sure he doesn't sit like this, but he's got a hole in the back. So I'm pretty sure he's a wall climber. Bam. Look at that coloring technique. Okay. Um, this should have sold this cobalt blue nesting cat. I just don't think we had enough people in here yet. But it's a beautiful nesting dish. And he's a cobalt blue cat. He's got bubbles going on inside of him. And we are just asking $12, number 14, for the beautiful cat nesting dish. And he looks so great in the sunlight. So great on the windowsill. And if y'all don't have glass shelves, thank you, Tippy, Christina, Christy. Oh, I'm like... I finally learned Tippy is your dog's name, and I've been calling you Tippy as a nickname for so long, even though I've known you as Christy Garza for forever. So I'm glad you got that. Make sure you put him by the window because he really does look. No, it's not Westmoreland because Westmoreland Glass puts their um, WG on the bottom. Now, I did come across a Westmoreland Lovebird dish. And I had a jadeite one that sold for like a bajillion dollars, but this one I think it was just plain white, so I didn't pick it up. But if people are into Westmoreland, I know how to get it. I know where it is. It's at the same place that has all the vintage Christmas that I have yet to go to. Okay, thank you, Christy. Um, this cute little guy, like, look how darling. This dog has red eyes and a red nose and a red mouth and this little boy or girl has beautiful blonde hair and luxurious lashes and it's those soft colors when do you see flowers like this that aren't broken and i think i was only charging yep five oh no i did sell christine aguilar resale girl you bought this i'm sorry I had him in the he didn't sell pile. I hope I didn't mess that up and put you under the wrong thing. I don't know why I had him in the no sell pile. Okay. Who likes fat cats? Fat cat. My bat. Oh my god. He's a piece of pottery. He could go indoors or outdoors. He's very pretty shades of blue all throughout. And he's brown and he's glazed over. And look at that face. And he's just like a tumbly wobble, like a weeble wobble, except he's got feet. He's really cute. Um, Fat cat. I was asking $15, number 15. He's just gorgeous. Look at that little worm of a tail in the back. I guess because he's not vintage, people aren't jumping on you. But he is so cute. I can tell you how much he weighs. Oh, but yeah, you tend to get a lot of gold. Oh, no. I'm thinking Tippy. I'm thinking Christy. She gets a lot of glass. Let me see how much he weighs. Zero. It's really, I want to, but you live in California. I was going to say it's more about size of things and weight lately i've been finding well i use pirate ships so like they do the cubic shipping he's two pounds 1.5 ounces so that is the weight on this booger bum gotcha kismet for number 15 leslie i think it is i think mike and krista have left the building or maybe they're watching along too. Thank you.
I don't know how to make it let you share links. I'm in StreamYard. Do you know what you do is you put a link and you leave a space between dot com and the rest of the crap and the person copies and pastes it and takes the space away and it'll let you put the link that way. So just put a space in between the beginning part and the dot com blah, blah, blah part. And that's how it works. Who said that? Yes, he is fat. He is a fat little cat. I love him. That's exactly what I said when I was in the, um, so I said, oh my God, dad, it's a fat cat. And the lady's like, that is so funny how you said that. Okay. Nobody wanted that. Anybody want this Leptin creamer? It was $6, number four. It's gold gilded. Has a floral pattern on it. It is marked left in 1937, which is not a year. I'm sure it's just the number of the piece. And I could go down to $4 for the left in creamer. $4, number four. If anybody's interested? And it looks good on any plate with gold gilded edges. And I don't, I mean, any color. And it does have some blush pink applied to the white. <laughs> Make moderators and they can post a link. I don't know what y'all are talking about. Um, the vintage and vinyl. I don't know how to make people moderators. Oh, I can do it during the thing. Okay. Huh. Vintage and vinyl. Now, I don't want y'all to feel like y'all have to be here every night. I know you all have lives. And I'm going to do um, Thrift You. And, uh, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Now I'm going to like feel bad if I don't mod everybody. And I hate the chats with the million blue people. So I'm going to stop right there for now. Um. Sarah cut Sam's hair back in April and it was hilarious. Watch it when I will watch it. Okay, Christina, I'll add you. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh girl, I don't I don't know how to get there. I'm, I'm like, I don't know how to get there from my phone. Um, I do have a $10 flower frog. It does have a couple scratches on it. It is a large one. It is clear. Anybody's interested. I was told that's the going rate for flower frogs. I kind of paid, you know, a bit for this where I was at. So, Sam, you started crying. Vinny, I have no life. You have no life in New Jersey. I have no life in Louisiana. It's okay. You're still here watching me go back through things you've already seen. So I guess Flower Frog. Ah, I don't want to go down that much because I paid so much. Flower Frog, $9. Flower Frog, $9. Number 26. For all you marble collectors out there that lose your marbles. I can't believe nobody bought the the um vintage Christmas ornament lot. Okay? So we're gonna redo this. Dude, when I was a kid I cut my own bangs and they just kept getting higher and higher and higher and then I put on like a Gilligan's hat. And my mom's like, come see, did you cut your own hair? 26. Empty nesting. I got you for the flower frog, my love. 
Thank you very much. Um, I think this sold. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure you sold things. Nobody bought the wooden creepy owl. What is wrong with y'all? See, that's why I'm a bad reseller. It's because everything I think is amazing, nobody wants. Okay? Look, and I'm not going down on price because he's my favorite item of the entire sale. Wooden owl. Okay. He looks like an idol you would find out in the woods. He does have, you know, a hole and a crack in the bark, but... It is handmade. Um, this owl here, this creepy owl, and he looks kind of alienish. And he looks like he was either from that movie, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, the prequel, The Mothman Prophecies, or there's another movie he's got to be from, and I don't know what it is. But he, like, he's. He wiggles, but he doesn't come out. And it's probably just how he's made. They shoved his body into some peg legs. But look, they carved a stick out of him. Good night, vintage cat and paws. And he is $9 because he is the best item in the wholesale, number 22. $9, number 22. for the. He is cool. He's like witchy and like you could put a votive, but he is wouldn't um and karen's vintage is more i believe yeah okay good i was like she better be a mod you could i don't care i mean you could put this dude anywhere on your window seal he's just the most awesome thing i've ever seen and he was hand carved in 1977 and yeah nine dollars number 22 but I don't mind keeping them at all. I really don't. I love them. I've been doing it for a long time. A split screen between video and Microsoft Jigsaw. <laughs> Thank you, Christina. I think he's awesome, too. He's $9, number 22. Only because he's awesome. Fuck, man. I have all these snow babies, too. Anybody like snow babies? Gotcha, Angela Marksberry, number 22. Because, like, they're legit good snow babies in good condition. Let me stand up and find one of the three writing utensils. Oh, Jesus, Louise. And this is my Mr. Rogers doll, who is not a Mr. Rogers doll. But that's what he looks like. Um, ow, my back hurts. Dude, I didn't get, yeah, I did get up a couple times on um, Did I, I don't know if you guys were, I know Karen's Vintage and More probably was here when I told the story of the calculator and piano where I went to school. And that's what everybody called everything. And I came from like, not the school where everybody called things piano and calculator, and I had to go to school there. And it kind of disturbed me as a human being. Oh my god, I'm so sorry for the show. Please, I hope my giant underwear covered up my crack. Angela Marks Perry. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Shut up, Debbie Winks. I hate it. Okay. I can't believe Manal didn't show up tonight, but I'm going to save all this elephant stuff for her because she's got first dibs on it. But look it. This is a made in Japan planner. Then this is just going to be the secret bonus for her. It's and I love it because I love Alabama. And then I have this elephant teapot for her. And this lacquer, like, Russian-style elephant. 
And then I'm looking for the Brazilian elephant because she loves elephants. And she purchased one, but she wants to wait to see them all because she lives in Canada. Y'all, I have nobody to talk to. I know. I think the mom will love them. I also have a picture of like a stack of elephants that I wanted to keep for myself, but I know she loves them. I mean, I have an elephant brooch too. And I'm like, oh. Okay, okay, okay. Let me chill out. Now this is... I'm just showing everybody everything. And then y'all are going to have nothing new to look at. Well, I lie. I have boxes and boxes. We'll just quit Christmas. Look at this old school angel. Is she not the most beautiful flipping thing you've ever seen in your life? Okay. And she's on this like golden metal dealy. And I don't know if she's just a sticker they put on there. She does have some wear to her face. But it just gives her the most beautiful vintage look and she's carrying I think those are lilies of the valley right is that what that is where the virgin mary had the beautiful flowers her face she's staring into your soul pretty and she only weighs come on scale get to your even part of your Okay. I should take my nighttime meds. Then we'll have a lot of fun. Four ounces. Okay. And she's kind of um puffed out, if that makes any sense. She's kind of got some convect. Convect. Convex. Convexness going on. And I don't know what i had asked for her previously but let's just do five dollars number 79 because i think she's beautiful and i would love for somebody to appreciate her and i have no room in my house five dollars number 79 for the vintage metal angel lady that may not be vintage she's just looks vintage five dollars number 79 and if y'all like angels, I have a box of angels. Okay, party people. I, I wish I could just put the video of Sam up on the live and we could watch her cry to her haircut. Um, I don't know what Temple Run is, but I was, I have a very, 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 so I wouldn't say refined, but selective taste in, um, video games. Okay. I feel like I'm just going on so y'all have a place to chat at. <laughs> oh, who likes snow babies? That was loud. Look at him. Won't you just look at that? Just look at him. And they're the Department 56 ones. So they got the little, like... Blonde hair, blue eyes, I think. Nope. White hair, blue eyes. Oh, girl, I can sing the whole song. I didn't know what it was. Somebody told me um, while I was singing it at work one day. You had to memorize it in Spanish. We had to learn the Pledge of Allegiance in French. I think I had, like, a French teacher for first period. I sound old now when I'm like first period. I never said that when I was in school. So anyway, I got like the whole snow baby phenomena. Like the entire village pretty much. I guess I really need to get to posting that on eBay. 
But if anybody's interested in snow babies, I can pull them out of this box and show you. Um, oh, Lord. There were all the ornaments. Holy moly. And we got all kinds of cookie cutters and stuff I should save for next time because then I'll have to dig it out. Oh, you're named after Ave Maria? So your name's Maria? So wait, now I kind of forget. It's Ave Maria is about the Virgin Mary, right? The mother of Jesus. They do, and they have one that checks the mail, and he's pulling a little star out of the box. But they're all sliding down the ice, like half of them are on their butts. And it's like if people in Louisiana tried to walk on ice, it's like that. Um, does anybody have like a mom or a person in their life that's obsessed with hummingbirds? Because this thing's like mint condition. The hummingbird actually has its entire nose. Later. And the flowers actually have their little pollen in them. And then it has flowers that go around the heart-shaped box. And I know some people, it's like, a, I don't know, a sign of a loved one that's passed on or something like that. But his head's purple. He's very pretty. And it is a Seymour Man Connoisseur collection. It's limited edition. And it's just in mint condition and i don't want to break it a bernini design trademarked by bernini from the seymour man studios seymour man incorporated and It would just make a great gift, I think. It looks like it's pretty new. And it's even signed at the top. It's amazing. Look at his little hummingbird butt. Um, that's cool, Crafty Jackie. I've been on for way too long anyway. So I'd do this bad boy for like 15 bucks number 77 if anybody's interested in the beautiful hummingbird that actually isn't broken like look at the pollen in the flowers it actually like kind of moves he's very texturized which adds value and very shaded in color mm -hmm. Hummingbird booty. And then the outer part is great. And then you can read all about it. Oh my god. Okay, Seymour man. Everybody hates your stuff. Everybody hates hummingbirds. Um anything else you guys want to see? I have carnival glass. I have Glass fruit. I have glass art bases. The number on that was. Did I even write it? 75. Leslie, you better not be going on a spending spree. Hummingbird heart shape box. Gotcha, Leslie. And you know you can talk to these people. They're nice, especially when you're isolated and you have no one to talk to. Um...
Who's been looking for one since she was 13? Is this Mike again? Or is this Leslie? Oh my god. I'm confused. Mike or Leslie? Mike or Leslie? Now I have to know. Or is it Krista? Because Krista, you can't do this by yourself. What if your dad gets mad? Um, okay. Let's see. I have these two things. Well, I have a few vases. Vases. These are super tall. They remind, I don't know, remind me of like Christmas in a weird way. But they're art glass faces. Krista, both of us. Okay, Chris, Krista. Better make sure it's okay with your dad. Okay, so this bad boy this orange vase is like the size of my upper torso and i'm a very long-waisted person so let's see 12 probably 12 a foot and a half inches tall and i want to say it's all good this may maybe a little nick like you can't fill it. I think it's on the inside, like a pressure something or other on the glass. You like the blue one? Yeah, but not enough to buy it, huh, Vinny? <laughs> anyway, this one's gonna be 20 bucks. It's a very large vase. It's very pretty. $20. Number 77 for the orange art glass vase. But I've been enjoying them in my room next to each other. They look good together. Yeah, they're pretty retro. And then this guy is a little shorter than the other one. You could curve them to the left or the right, whichever way you would like. And this one I don't think has any issues. Maybe some scratching to the outer layer, but you gotta like catch it in the light. Um, but no like doinks or anything. And let me see, this is about 15 inches tall. And It'd be eighteen dollars, number seventy-eight, for the blue one. Eighteen dollars, number seventy-eight. They are really neat. Yes, it does. It reminds me of a, and I think. Sam had said this one of the nights. She had something. She's like, it looks like one of those creamy lifesavers. And I was like, it really does. And, like, that's what these remind me of. The creamy lifesavers. But, like, I don't know, dude. Like, Island of Misfits toy. Candyland, maybe. I don't know what I'm getting. What Christmas? It's giving me Christmas vibes when they're together. But I don't exactly know from what. Because I never really was a the Grinch person. I never really watched the live action one. Couldn't get into it. Yeah, it does. Oh my god. And then I have one more retro vase. Holy poop. And it's not quite as tall, but it is Christmas. 
key looking. It's very mid-century modern. Um, and it has crazing all throughout, which I think is just fake crazing. But it's got that drip glaze. Very pretty green. And it's got like a very pretty blue on the inside. And it's got the foam bumpers for when you put it on your furniture. And this one, I know, this is a really cool one. This is like 13 inches tall. And it's even got the fake crazing on the inside too. Ooh. The live action one stinks, stinks, stunk in my opinion. Yeah. I like the original too. It was really cool. Oh. And this thing would be I paid up for it, but it was a while back. $17, number 80 for the mid-century modern base. Yeah. No live any. I don't sell these. These are my witch balls, but they're cool. I have grass, glass grapes if anybody's interested, and they go in my non flash carnival glass centerpiece dish. And it's very beautiful on the bottom. It's got this pretty fruit color. And I do have like a um, fruit bowl pedestal dish up there as well. And I was asking $25 for this um, dish, but I don't think people are into a carnival glass for some reason. So it'd be $25, number 84, for the footed centerpiece. Okay, guys, I guess I better be done. I need to start packing. Stink, stink, stink. Vinny, you need to listen to the um, You're Pretty When I'm Drunk by Bloodhound Gang. There I go again, just giving everybody a free show. I think you would like that one. Yeah, I understand. I live in a one room house, so I feel you. But basically, like, the chorus to the song is you're pretty when I'm drunk. Farts. <laughs> Fart jokes will always be funny to me. Okay, everybody. I guess I'm going to go offline. I'm actually going to go watch people gamble. Oh, if you like entertainment that's free and money that's free because they do get give free giveaways all night. There's a channel called Ticket Time, and it's super freaking fun, and the chat's fun. And there's a channel called Detroit Scratchers. Now, Ticket Time comes on, like, Friday, Saturday, and Monday nights. At least I know for sure. Like, he might still be on right now. And other people give this dude money, and he gambles it for him. And he gives away free prizes and free money. So you really got to go check him out. That's Ticket time. And then Detroit Scratchers, when they go live, they give away free money all the time, too. You don't have to, like, join or be a member or anything. So just thought I'd throw that at y'all. Y'all should check out those two channels. And I'm going to head over to Ticket Time and see if they're still live. So y'all have an amazing night. And thanks for coming, Vinny. Not like that. Thanks for joining me tonight at my live show. <laughs> And I can't wait to get my Royal Copley. Is that it? Yeah. The little head vase girl in. Good night, Karen's Vintage and More. Good night, Terry Sarsanella. I appreciate y'all for hanging around. Mwah. Merry Christmas. I mean, happy Thanksgiving. Good night.